Thank you for being here. Oh, I mean, thanks for the invite. <laughs> well, what can you add to the situation? I'm not going to apologize for caring about you. Um, he was upset because, you know, I'll ask him certain questions or I'll bring certain things up in concern, and he doesn't like that very much. She either thinks I'm on too many of my Adderalls, so she looks at my eyes to see if, like, she's like an FBI agent and a good detective, or she thinks that I somehow, some way, track down meth. I didn't sign up to date a detective. It's like when I told her, don't text me, don't call me, you broke the rule. Bing, what rule? You come barging in, meh, 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 meh. You're in my realm, don't remember? You're not even supposed to be here. You don't listen, you don't follow rules. I don't want to see you, <clears throat> talk to you, or anything you. I want you to leave me alone. And you did everything to not leave me alone. Okay, well. What do you mean, okay, you showed up to the castle, and then I went mental, even crazier than the other one. You want to see me go down in flames. You do a whole lot of this, you need to stop. All I did was wanting to bring you food. After your mental breakdown, I, said, I, don't want to I talk dropped to you. off food. If I'm hungry, I'll hey, eat. you know what? I didn't even come in the house to talk to you. How about that? Yes, you did. Let me stop this because I have two things to say. First off, you said, I just came to bring you food. Because he hasn't eaten. Well, but the, in, like, the point is, he wanted to be alone. And you decide to okay, just yeah, completely right. ignore that and bring yeah, him food. Right. So you yeah. wanted to run your agenda instead of respect his wish. Okay. Here's my question for you. Do you see anything wrong with the way you've been interacting with her in the last 10 minutes here? Oh, oh agreeing with you, just going. You've been yelling at her. You've been saying, I gave you three rules. You do this, you do that, you do this. Yeah. That's just purely abusive. All right. You're being completely abusive with her. And you should not put up with that at all. Period. Zip. Zero. Nada. That is abuse. Do you not feel that? Completely. Is saying it quiet okay? Yeah. Okay. You can say whatever you want, but you you don't have the right to manage her by intimidation and yell but if and scream you and impose your will on if her. If you weren't here, she would be screaming higher. That doesn't make it okay for you to do it. And you don't disrespect a mother of your child that way. You don't speak to her that way. It's inappropriate. When I set boundaries or I tell him how I feel, that's me being stubborn. I'm pretty much very limited on what I'm allowed to say. That's because he's run out of coping skills. He's frustrated. And you not doing exactly what he wants, when he wants, the way he wants, then you're being stubborn. You need to redefine this relationship in treating each other with dignity and respect. You owe her an apology for yelling and screaming at her and intimidating her, because that's not the way you want to be. When you say that these two are, quote, making me crazy, uh, I disagree with that, but I do agree that there is dysfunction in these relationships. And I do think that your mother is burdened too much with things in your life, and I think there need to be some boundaries established where she is set free from some of the things that she is doing. And if this castle has become the business, then there are certainly ways where you can become arm length partners or bought out, recompensated, I whatever. It doesn't I, matter. I think she, April should just not come over the castle. It's none of her business anymore. Thank you for well, cleaning it up. I appreciate it. It looks awesome and I love you for that, but you're not welcome there anymore.